Uh, welcome to this video about the perturbed convective wave equation. Uh, the idea is to compute the acoustics also in the near field and also in the flow regions. So the aim of these types of equations is that we have an insight on the acoustics itself and do not uh, compute an accumulated uh, variable like it uh, is done in Light Hill's wave equation where we solve for the density variations and the, the, not the acoustic density. Here we are solving for the acoustic scalar potential as a primary variable. Uh, this is done in the following and it's all based on the APE2 sy system uh, which is APE means acoustic perturbation equations and the two system is the incompressible variant of the RPE system as a hierarchy of acoustic equations. Uh, we use the definition of the acoustic scalar potential that the acoustic particle velocity is a negative gradient of, of the acoustic scalar potential. And we insert it into the APE2 momentum equation, um, inserting the scalar potential there, and then kind of canceling the gradient term in itself then we derive a relation for the pressure equation. So how the pressure is connected uh, to the acoustic scalar potential. And the pressure in the sense is connected by the substantial derivative, where the substantial derivative and the convective part is uh, regarding the mean velocity there. So the acoustic is there convective with the mean velocity component. Um, so we already defined the acoustic scalar potential, we now defined the pressure equation, how the pressure relates to the acoustic potential and we can now insert these definitions into the APE2 mass equation which is given down here. If we insert these definitions there we see, okay, again we have some additional uh, additional knowledge. Uh, we find out that we have here the first two terms. We now here have the second material derivative with respect to the, the scalar potential in terms of the mean convection, um, which is yielding the first term of the perturbed convective wave equation and inserting it into the second, uh, into the third uh, term, uh, the definition of the scalar potential, we have here then some Laplacian term, uh, which is uh, inherently a property of the wave equation. And on the inhomogeneous side, we then simply have the material derivative of the incompressible pressure, which is not very nice. Here we see that acoustics itself is forced by the incompressible pressure and is the dominant source term for this wave equation, not for all wave equations, but very specific for this wave equation. This is the acoustic or this is the acoustic source term which forces this equation. And yeah, it's easy to, com to compute. Uh, there are a lot of uh, benefits uh, there. Um, if you would like to yeah, have some deeper knowledge about the uh, perturbed convective wave equation, uh, look up some publications of our, our institute, they are well described. Um, additionally, as we said before, the motivation was we would like to compute even acoustics in regions where flow is present. Um, and therefore we did a study in cylinder and cross flow, it's a pseudo 2D computation and uh, at very low Reynolds number. Um, if we compare the divergence, divergence light hill term here, where we have a lot of spurious modes and a lot of uh, interesting uh, stuff happening there, but which is purely not uh, acoustic there, it's also some noisy 
noisy contributions we see when we really compute the perturbed convective wave equation. We hardly see anything from the, the vortex street back there, so we really compute the acoustic pressure there. And this is the very benefit from the perturbed convective wave equation at low Mach number, low in case sound. Uh, thank you for watching this video.